dinitrogen trioxide and calcium oxide yields what? There are two reactants, both are compounds, so this could be a double replacement or a synthesis. But dinitrogen trioxide is covalent, not ionic, so there are no ions to swap around. So it can't be double replacement. It must be a synthesis reaction. We start with dinitrogen trioxide, which I hope everyone can write. And then we add calcium and oxygen. We need to check our crisscross to make sure that the charges cancel and we've written it correctly. So what does this yield? We go to our reaction rules and we see that a non-metallic oxide and a metallic oxide yield an oxy salt. An oxy salt is a combination of a metal and a polyatomic ion. There's only one metal here, that's the calcium. And the non uh, the polyatomic ion is obviously a nitrogen containing one and uh, we have an oxygen. We need to decide whether this is going to be a nitrite or nitrate. So we go to our reaction rules again. We find that the high oxidation number will make 8 and a low oxidation number will make 8. We're looking for the positive oxidation number for the nitrogen in the non-metallic oxide. Nitrogen can have any of these three oxidation numbers and we're going to find out which one it is. Oxygen is always minus 2 and there are three of them. So we've got minus 6 for our total oxidation numbers in the oxygen. So that means our nitrogen must count for plus 6. Since there are two of them, that means each of them must be plus 3. So we end up with the low positive oxidation number of plus 3. Our reaction rules tell us that this must then be nitrite and nitrite is NO2. We need to do a crisscross to make sure that uh, we have this balanced or this formula correct. Uh, the reaction rules tell us that the metal retains its oxidation number so it's still a plus two. Nitrite is minus one. We crisscross and we have Ca in parentheses NO2 2. So the answer to our question, dinitrogen trioxide and calcium oxide yields calcium nitrite.